Howdy and welcome back. So let's continue this uh, lesson by asking what's on the stack, what's in the free store, and you're probably going, well, what's he mean about that? So let's go ahead and just consider this block of code here. I'm going to draw a memory diagram communicating what objects are going to be residing on the stack and then what objects are residing on the free store. Okay, so let's go ahead and step through this. So we see free store array capacity. That's a named object. That object has an array, so it, sorry, that object has a name, so it must reside on the stack. So in this diagram, I have the identifier, a column for stack where an identifier's value will go, and then a free store, which is kind of just out there. It's uh, disorganized. Uh, we'll see the stack's always going to be kind of aligned with um, in order that the uh, variables are declared. Things on the free store, I'm just going to throw them wherever literally there's space for them. The free store manager does something similar. It goes, okay, you need an array, size four. Where do I have four contiguous integer objects? Go ahead and label that. That's the array. Here you go. Here's the base address. So free store array capacity is going to start out with the value of, in this case, four. So we can see named object, it's right there on the stack. Now, free store array, that is a named object, and the object is going to be a pointer to an integer object. So we can see here that that's setting up a new entry on the stack, get a different color here, and it's going to be a pointer to an object. Well, what is free store array initialized with? It is going to be initialized with the address of an integer array residing on the free store. So let me uh, make this a little clearer right here. Oops. Sorry about that. So free store array is going to have the address to the base element of that object that resides on the free store. And again, that's what this line's setting up here. Okay, so notice here that the named objects are residing on the stack. Free store array capacity is a named uh, object. It is a variable. Its memory is allocated for it on the stack. Free store array, that is a named object. Its type is going to be a pointer to an integer object. Its memory is allocated for it on the stack. What is, what is its value? Its value is going to be the address of that newly dynamically allocated array. And to kind of show this, I've essentially put this box with a, a dot in the center and drew an arrow to the object to which that pointer points to. And notice that where it resides is on the free store. Now let's go ahead and say, okay, we do something with, um, with that object and now we're ready to free it. When we hit this line of code here, delete free store array, Again, we're passing to the delete operator the address of this object. And what is going to happen at this point is the free store manager is going to label that, uh, that memory um, as being deallocated. Oops. As being deallocated. It's not, however, going to zero out any of that memory just yet. So the values 10, 20, 30, and 40 will let, continue to live on until the free store manager decides to go ahead and allocate that block or any part of those blocks in memory for use with something else. So why is it important to uh, update the value of free store array to null pointer? Because we probably want to disrupt that relationship as well. Free store array directly after the um, call to the delete operator is going to be what's known as a dangling pointer. It's pointing to memory that is no longer allocated for. So to provide, prevent us from inadvertently going back to say these, this array and interacting with the data that may or may not be there, depending on when it becomes overwritten, we go ahead and we simply say that, hey, that relationship is no longer valid. And we'll say that our free store array now points to nothing. 
Okay, with that in mind, let's uh, go ahead and run through the different forms of the delete operator, then we'll revisit problematic and finally uh, finish up today's lesson with a brief um, introduction to how we can resize a dynamically allocated array.